Some dick hit us with a car! What is happening? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Amnesia Memories with Kent's Root, and we're gonna continue where we left off. I'm getting close to the ending, but so far, I do like Kent better than the other guys, because the other guys are kind of shitty. Let's just go with that. Anyway, <laughs> looks like someone's here. I wonder if it's Ken. Can you get up? Think you can walk to the door? Did we faint? Good morning. Mind if I come in? Uh, of course, I don't mind if you stay in bed. You don't have to have any family around, right? I came here to look after you. Oh, okay, that's nice. Cool. How are you feeling? Think you can eat? I brought nutritious nutritious and sweet foods that are easy to eat. A simple and effective way to replenish stamina. I'll get some water. Don't worry about me. Just lay down. Why, thank you! Oh my god, this is the first time that one character in this fucking game is taking care of us. Jesus Christ! Every single time, everybody else is just not doing anything. Kent is really nice. He really is like a different person from when we first met. I wonder if Kent changed, or maybe he was always a nice guy if he never got mad at him? But he was saying things like he used to, uh, he used to, uh, being disliked. In that case, Kent must have changed completely in the past three weeks. That conference is really important to him, but he's here taking care of you inst instead of preparing- <laughs> I like him! I like him more and more, he gets more points. Tom is next, right? Yeah, he's the next one after- after Kent. Oh, are you dizzy? Sorry, now's not the time to be thinking deeply. Just sleep. I'll keep watch to make sure Kent doesn't try anything funny. If he did, boy, I'm gonna punch him. <laughs> what happened? Jessica, what's wrong? Are you okay? What? Oh, sorry. You were just sleeping. <laughs> no, I'm not dead, Kent. I'm just asleep. The heck? That was a shock. I can't tell if he's taking care of you or making you more tired. Please, just don't die. Whoa, uh, what? We just fainted! What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Please, just don't die. She's not dying! Don't go anywhere. I will do anything for your sake. At first, this relationship was simply engaging my interests. I thought it would be fine if we broke up eventually. But I know now what it's like to be with you. I couldn't bear it to lose you now. Do you wish to go to the hospital? Or should I call a doctor here? If there's anything I can do, just let me know. Man, this man is getting so dramatic! <laughs> uh, I just want to tell him! I want to tell him why you're so exhausted and why you can't go to the hospital! I want to tell him that not having anything to jog your memories is the most dangerous thing! You agree, don't you? You can see just how much Kent's worried about you. He said that he could- that you could ask him for anything. I wonder if that includes asking him to believe in the existence of spirits. I doubt it. Well, I mean, his best friend has eyeballs that have powers. Would he not believe us? And then we told him we have no memories, like we lost our memories? He believed us then. So if we said, hey, there's a spirit in my head, he's this cute little uh, bug person who likes to talk to me. Um, I think he would believe it, considering what's been happening so far. Kent is just overreacting, I think so, a little too much. <laughs> what is it? Is there something you need? It's okay, I just need to leave a little sleep. Will you believe me if I tell you something? Um... Hey, you, I'm gonna tell you something. What? Do you have a secret even more shocking than the fact that you don't have memories? <laughs> yes? <laughs> so you're gonna tell him? That's right. You don't want to keep any secrets from someone who is this worried about you. Alright, let's see how he reacts to this. 15 minutes later. Oh, really? I thought it would take longer to explain this. Are you testing my determination? I told you that I'd do anything, and if you ask me to believe you, I'd be a liar if I didn't. I understand. Let's say that you are possessed by a spirit. He, he's, he's so reluctant, but he's willing to try to understand. That's very nice. 
it's not hypothetical. No, I believe you. There's a spirit possessing you. This isn't an actual illness, and you don't want to go to the hospital. That spirit will disappear if you regain your memories. On the other hand, if your memories remain sealed, that spirit will in encroach further into your mind. That sums up the condition you're in. We'll talk with these points under the assumption that I understand. Uh, it seems a bit like he doesn't believe you. Well, even if he's pretending to believe you, that's good enough. I think that's nice. It's nice that, you know, you still believe in your partner even though she may be crazy. <laughs> it may seem uh, senseless at a glance, but this story is backed up by several factors. One of the reasons I had a difficult time believing you have amnesia was because you seem overly calm. Normally, one would be in a confused panic without memory since one couldn't possibly get uh, by alone. Well, you couldn't trust anyone at first, I couldn't comprehend why you would hesitate to tell anyone for this long. Yeah, you would think she would tell at least like Sawa because that's your best friend. But I think Sawa would overreact because she's kind of an overreacting uh, person, so she would probably call the hospital or something. <laughs> Also, you had full of memories of general social knowledge. Normally, one would go to the hospital or to the police if they found themselves in your situation. However, you didn't take such action that would be considered normal. You behaved in a way that would hide your memory loss. To be honest, I don't see why. However, your absurd actions had an absurd reason. I can understand somewhat. Okay? <laughs> And that reason is something like out of a fairy tale. This spirit, as you call it, told you to do this. He's not like a demon or anything, if that's what you're asking. Uh, when he says it like that, it sounds like more of I'm an evil spirit possessing your body. There are other things that concern me. After losing your memories, you would always focus your gaze somewhere else while you were thinking. Your gaze wouldn't shift from the place for a while. It was a strange habit. But I can understand why. If you happen to be looking at something I couldn't see. Uh, I get it. Whenever I started talking like this, you always looked at me. Yeah, I guess that was, we would seem like we're crazy if we're like looking at a blank space while Orion is talking to us. Anyway, setting aside the question of whether the spirit is really a spirit or not. I can fully understand the explanation that you are able to per uh, perceive an absurd being similar to that. Huh? That was unexpected, and his reasoning was an unexpected too. Also, it seems that the spirit is becoming more distant the more your memories are st uh, stimulated. The cerebral cortex is a part of the brain that stores what we call memories. Uh, did he just start a different topic? <laughs> And if you're able to remember these memories via various stimuli, that means there's no damage to your cerebral cortex. This guy's such a nerd! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> and there are no issues with the memories you've made after the start of your amnesia. We can assume there's no damage to the frontal lobe, reasonably for recalling memories, or the hippocampus, I, what? Uh, responsible for organizing memories. The only issue persists is that you can't recall matters from the past that you should know. For example, if the cerebral cortex is a ward wardrobe and the hippocampus is the table upon which you lay memories out after removing them from the wardrobe. The only thing the spirit is impeding is the opening of the older drawers that are in the wardrobe. If we think about your experience until now, and the spirit becoming more distant as memories as uh, regained, opening those old drawers causes the spirits to cling to them to be thrown off. It doesn't matter which old drawers are open, however, it doesn't seem that the newer drawers are included. So, spirit, in my explanation, is my explanation correct? Wait, is he asking me? I don't know that! If you have an answer, spirit, write it down on a piece of paper. I'd like to communicate through writing. Communicate through writing? Me with Kent? Well, this is interesting. Uh, I didn't really expect that. Um, right. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet me. Listen, spirit, I'm requesting an answer in regards to the assumptions I have just explained. I don't know if it's correct or not. It doesn't seem to be a smart being- Whoa, Kent! Kent, do not insult my son like that! How dare you! Oh, be quiet! 
しかし、However, this is a very human response. It seems you're really another being inside of your head. Jesus Christ! <laughs> In that case, I should try to interact with it more humanely. It's nice to meet you, Spirit. I'm probably the first person to greet you. You really are! What a surprise! You're surprised. You seem to be a cheerful character. Anyway, Spirit, do you wish to leave her body as soon as possible? How about we call him by his name instead of calling him Spirit? <laughs> of course I do, but I was too worried to leave before finding someone she can trust. I see, so I'm not someone that can be trusted. I think you can be trusted, but you're going to be leaving to study abroad soon. That's true. I see, so that's why it doesn't seem like you have much enthusiasm for recovering her memories. Well, uh, I do want to recover them, but it hasn't been going well. But I definitely want her to recover everything one day and return to her normal life. I just want to avoid rushing and putting her in a bad situation. Sure, I'll be gone once we separate, but she still has to live out her life afterwards. I see. It seems your spirit is very kind-hearted spirit. Yes, he's the good boy named Ryan. <laughs> if you'd like to recover those memories more quickly, I can think of several ways I could help. I could talk of memories to provide her with an acquaintance stimulation, and I could also get in touch with Sawa, Toma, and the others. Just Sawa, you can, you know, throw Toma out. <laughs> Creating new drawers of memories would be another way to utilize their cooperation. It seems you haven't remembered many memories up until now. If that amount is enough to make the spirits start to fade away, it shouldn't be difficult to free the rest of those drawers. If you desire it, I'll promise to continue helping you after I return from abroad. Is it okay if I remember? Thank you! Thanks, Kent! At least he's not being like, I'm gonna run away now! No, that's only natural. I'm sorry for being so upset yesterday. Even if you leave me as a result of regaining your memories, I promise I'll do what I can to make sure there are no dif difficulties in your life. So don't worry, you can rely on me. But you're leaving! <laughs> Kent? I think it's a good thing that you're her boyfriend, Kent. I see. Thank you. I need to do my best to live up to those words. We're here! We're pretty used to coming over to Kent's house now. Hello? Yes, he coming! Huh? Wait, who is this? My, and who are you? Oh, could she be Kent's mom? Uh, nobody's ever home, so this is the first time we met anyone else. Mother, she's someone I know. Oh, it's it's Mama Kent! <laughs> oh, Kent, I didn't know you were coming to answer the door. She's my guest. More importantly, don't you have a cold? Why did you get up? Jessica, you too. Are you feeling okay already? You don't have to force yourself to visit. My, how kind. Is she your girlfriend? <laughs> Mother, just return to bed. Am I right? Well, yeah. Oh, he's blushing! He's blushing, everybody! <laughs> oh dear, you never told me you had a girlfriend before! Why did you say anything? You should introduce us! We aren't at the stage where I need to introduce her to my parents yet. You should stay over for dinner tonight. I'll tell my husband to come home early too! <laughs> Mother, she's only just recovered. And you took time off too. You should go back to bed. It's fine now, so is this okay with you? You know, at this point, she's pr he's pretty much introducing us to his mom because she's fucking standing right there. You can just introduce us, dude. Thank you, I'll stay over. Um, please get some rest. Oh god, I don't know what to say. I mean, she's sick, but like, I, I, I appreciate the sentiment that she wants to like, meet us. Uh... <laughs> It's official, if you get a cold in this game, you lose your spirit, apparently. Yeah, you just become a spirit and you're invisible. That's what happens when you get a cold now. Uh, just happens. You never told me you had a girlfriend, she was a part of my experiment. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what to say! Like, I want to say thanks, but like, she's sick. Thanks! 
Sorry about this, Jessica. If you don't feel well at any point, feel free to go back home. Yes, just don't push yourself. Mother, you're the one who's pushing herself. But it's rare for me to have time off work like this. You'll be going abroad soon, so you might not have a chance uh, to see her. We should make good use of an opportunity, and it would be efficient to introduce ourselves properly today since we just met. Your father would agree too. Well, that's true, but... <laughs> this entire family is full of rational thinkers! Regardless, standing around here isn't good for someone in your condition. Come in. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Please come right in. I'll go make some tea. You should go to bed! <laughs> Sorry for the surprise, my mother's really at home, but she wasn't feeling well today. She may appear well, but she had a fever of 38 uh, degrees Celsius. Well, thank you for the accurate information. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, you likely don't know this. My mother is a lawyer, and my father researches mathematics at the university. Yeah, I mean, I kind of suspect considering how Kent is, so... They're both busy and are rarely at home. In fact, before I started dating you, I spent most of my time at the university as well. Now, I'm just staying at home as often as I can. I just thought it would be easier for you to visit here. However, it's also true that some work can't be done outside of the university. I don't have many days left. I was actually planning to go th there this afternoon. I'm sorry, but it might be difficult to meet with you until the conference is over. Although you probably don't mind, I'm the one who wants to see you. <laughs> I'm lonely too, don't leave me! No, I feel like that's such a selfish thing to do. Like, when you're in a relationship, I know they're in a new relationship, but when you're in a relationship with someone and they're doing something for their career or for their academic purposes or something for themselves, you should still be there for them no matter how difficult it is. It's a give and take kind of thing when you're in a relationship with someone. So I feel like it's a shady thing to say, I'm lonely too. I feel like we should encourage Kent because he's like really looking forward to this stuff. So I'm gonna say that. Yes, thank you. Also, there's one more thing I wanted to tell you. You've already come all this way today, but I'd like you if you didn't walk around outside alone anymore. Why? Because of Ukyo? Because you fucking freaked me the fuck out last time? Someone should accompany you, especially when you're out late in areas without many people around. I'm concerned about that man, Ukyo. Seeing how you don't have your memories, there's a chance that they'll try to take advantage of that for reasons unknown. It would be preferable if you check to make sure that he's not uh, not around before you go somewhere, at least for one week. That makes sense to me because he freaks me the fuck out! I see, that's right. He even showed up where you work very frequently. Can't say for sure that he isn't planning to take advantage of you, so it's best to be cautious. Although, if you're feeling nervous about it, you might find the con uh, constant looking around for to be more tiring. I might just be worrying more than necessary because I can't always be by your side, and even less so now. Anyway, just stay here for today. Starting tomorrow, I'll make arrangements with Sawa, Mine, and the others to provide you with information. I'm sure you'll want to regain your memories as soon as possible. If you hear information from them, you might begin to remember things. But to be honest, I'm afraid because I can't be certain of what you'll remember. It might be an excuse that I'm busy preparing for the conference. In a way, I don't want to see the gradual change in your attitude towards me once you remember everything. But I still know it's selfish of me not to want to remember these things since they are your yours to remember. Don't hold back for my sakes. Go and reclaim your memories. Well, thank you! I wonder if you really start to dislike Kent if you remember everything. What have you forgotten? What happened between you and Kent? I really doubt anything would make you start disliking him at this point. You don't remember anything. I guess we have to... I guess we have no idea what will happen when you do remember. Hope it's nothing weird. Whoa! Check out fucking Kent's dad. He's like... He dresses like his dad! <laughs> oh my goodness. Go right ahead, eat as much as you want. What? Didn't she have a cold? What's with this elegant meal? Mother, it seems she's shocked in thinking that you made this. Oh dear, I'm sorry, our meals are mostly takeout and catered. Rich people! <laughs> My husband, Kent, and, uh, my husband Kent and I are hardly at home. There's not much meaning to cooking meals every day, since it's beyond our necess uh, necessity. 
I don't think this is a matter of necessity. This is obviously for prior prioritizing efficiency. If you think about our working wages per hour, it's far cheaper to order food than make it ourselves. You sound like rich people. <laughs> Wage per wages per hour? You're converting the time to prepare food into the amount of money? And taking a meal's nutritional value into consideration, food carefully prepared by professionals is far more balanced than something I could make last minute. You're making me feel poor, okay, Ken's mother? <laughs> this is also far more effective to expand our son's palate. And that's why we prefer not to prepare our food ourselves. Uh, <laughs> I realize this is fairly unusual, but do you understand her reasonings? <laughs> I can totally see why Ken turned out the way he is. Still, you're quite a lovely young lady. Well, thanks, Ken's dad. <laughs> Yes, we'd expect for oh, uh, as we expect from our son. Well, one's genes attracted to others most optimal for a combination with one's own. This isn't a surprise at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> of course, we fully believe that you would bring a lovely young lady home, Kent. I'm not sure if I choose an optimal genes or not. Is that so? But why could you possibly feel dissatisfied? I'm not dissatisfied, but she might be. Oh dear, are you two fighting? It's not really it. It's okay, romantic emotions are in instinctual for the survival of species. It'll turn out fine in the end. I hope so. You guys realize I'm still sitting at the table, right? You guys are just talking about me, I'm sitting right here. <laughs> The whole family is just making me feel even more tougher. <laughs> oh my god. Young lady, Kent, uh, Kent may be a little stubborn, but he's an excellent son. Even if you and Kent have disagreement, I believe that it would be valued to consider a future with him. Are you asking me to marry your son or something? <laughs> While our household may have nothing of real merit to pass down, I can guarantee the chance of you having any discomfort in your life is extremely low. Oh, also don't worry. We don't have any intentions of interfering with your time together. Father, mother, those are not the kind of issues she's concerned with. However, such terms are very important in marriage. <laughs> what? Although, I can understand why you may prioritize emotion over those. Dude, we just started dating, like, how many weeks? Why are we talking about marriage? We aren't at that stage yet. This is why I said I didn't want to introduce you yet. Anyway, you don't have to say anything concerning our dating. I can handle this myself. Well, I suppose it's another important point for a man to prove his qualities. <laughs> oh my god, okay? <laughs> Thanks for having us! Huh. That was a strange dinner. Ken's family is interesting, but they're also kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> Although Kent is the same way. Are you tired? I'm sorry about the sudden change of plans. Let's just walk back slowly. I hope nothing weird happens. Oh my god, I'm scared. Actually, compared to those parents of his, Kent seems a lot like a normal human. There's a part of Kent that doesn't just work based off a reason. He's got some feelings. Hmm? Jessica, do you feel the same way? Before I employed the same reason as my parents do. It's natural to select an optimal woman for species uh, preservation. The emotional change known as love occurs, and that tends to lead to marriage. But ironically, the woman whom I favor disliked me. I feel as though I'm not in control and I keep making mistakes. It may even affect my preparations for the most important and life-changing events of my academic career. Is this really what my genes are commanding me to do? In that case, my genes are defective. Either that or I'm just having to admit there's no rational reason behind love. Just as you said. Why are we getting so emo all of a sudden? What is happening? <laughs> I've been thinking on this a lot lately. Your genes aren't defective. Love isn't... Dude, you're not like like a weirdo or anything for like liking MC, you know? That's pretty normal. I'm gonna say this because love isn't is rational sounds fucking stupid. Are you saying that my genes really did find their optimal partner? And that means I can't believe there's a chance of things going well between us. Jessica, if you say something like that, I'll start developing expectations. About what, Kat? <laughs> what expectations? 
Well, even if our genetic pairing is suitable, actually getting the pairing to succeed might be based on the amount of effort we invest. Alright, August 22nd. I think a wild Ukyo is gonna appear. I hope not. He scares me. <laughs> so bored. The next chance we'll go see Kent is probably the conference on the 25th. Yeah, it's his big moment. You wouldn't want to miss it. But you were told not to go outside alone. And is a math conference really something that outsiders can attend? Mm, I'm sure Kent is really busy, so we wouldn't want to bother him. Oh, right. I wonder if Iki's going. Why do we want to know if Iki's going? Oh, maybe we can ask Iggy to come with us and he can defend us from Ukiyo. That'd be nice. <laughs> you exchanged numbers with, Ik with Iggy before. Maybe you can message him? Wow, he's quick at responding. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> Um, it's okay. I'm going to be there helping you out, so I'll make sure you can get in. Oh, should I pick you up from your place while I'm at it? He's so nice and devoted! Is this kind of a breath of fresh air? We're used to the awkward interactions with Kent. I'm almost worried that we're being tricked. Anyway, want to ask him? Let's reply. <clears throat> By the way, is this a... Wait, what? By the way, is this a secret from Ken? I'd be more happy to help him make him jealous. No! Iggy, can you just be like a normal person and be like, yeah, I'll drop you off and to see your boyfriend. Why do you have to make him jealous? Jesus Christ. Oh, stop, stop. He really is getting super jealous. Why are you hesitating? Are you really thinking about you want him to get jealous? Kind of want to get jealous. No, that would be inappropriate. That would be inappropriate, okay? This is stupid. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's for the best. Seems like Kent is really sensitive when it comes to Icky. If you make him jealous just because, it could turn into a huge ordeal. Also, I think that would screw him over because he's going to the conference, right? I don't want to do that, so no. You don't need to test Kent like that. We're already sure that he likes you. What? You won't do it? Then I'll just tell him we'll be going together. Oh, Icky! This is why I hate you. Can't- why? Why is he like that? Can I just call Sawa? Like, I'd rather just go with her. Oh my god. Anyway, that settles our plans for three days from now. The issue now is what we should do with these three days. Ken was saying that he had talked to Sawa and the others. I wonder what he told them. Oh, it's Sawa! Uh, speaking of which, you're getting a call from Sawa! Uh, hello? It's me! Hey, I just heard a really interesting story from Kent. You're going to be in a movie about your college life? What? <laughs> he said that you- he said to talk about any events that may have left an impression? Is it true? Oh, okay, I get what he's doing! He's trying to trick everybody to tell us, like, important memories. I gotcha. I see an autobiographical movie. Great idea, Kent. Although, he'll probably just say it was an obvious idea. But it's hard to think of events that left an impression on you. I've been thinking for a while about things that happened, but nothing really stands out. Maybe Kent's studying group uh, left a biggest impression? Tell us more! Amazing, it sounds like we'll be able to gather new information from the comfort of our home. Let's see. I think it all started when you, Mine, and I talked after work one day. She was just going after guys like she usually does, and the three of us really got carried away. Uh, I remember that day. <gasps> Memory! <laughs> Sawa, Mina, and I planned out uh, the study group while laughing and walking. Me and I went to a different university, but we knew her from work and we got along well. Apparently there was a really handsome guy at our school, and the plan was to have him teach a study group. But the person who actually taught the class was one of his friends. He was really different, unlike anyone I had met before. He tried to explain everything through reason, and it was surprising to me. I was really taken aback, and I started to think that I wanted to talk to him more. Right, I was really shocked when I met him on the path through the cemetery. After that, I started talking to Kent every morning. And then... And then what happened? 
Sorry, that's all about I can remember. I'll call you if I remember anything else. I'll try talking to Mine, Toma, and some other people at school. Uh-oh, the news that you're making a movie is going to spread pretty far. Yeah, because people are going to think we are in a movie, actually. <laughs> hmm, you heard a lot of stories, but your memories didn't come back. Maybe it wasn't enough? Wait, did you remember something? And you, I didn't see it? I see, so our senses aren't completely connected anymore. That makes sense. Lately, you've been remembering all kinds of things. I'm glad, although it's a little lonely for me. No, Orion! I'll hug you, it's okay. But it doesn't seem like you got dizzy, and you seem happy, too. Did a good memory come back? <laughs> Aw, kind of wanted to see it, too. What kind of memory was it? Can you tell me? Sure, I guess. <laughs> Oh, you have a visitor! Be right there! Uh, it's Shin and Toma! Looks like they came to see you! Oh god! <laughs> hey! How do you feel? I figured that we could talk about the movie and visit you at the same time. Wow! Word of the movie is really getting around! I wonder if you could really just say, I quit in a cutesy way and get away with it later! You seem to be doing fine. Wanna go outside? It doesn't right have to be. Uh, it doesn't have to uh, feel right to enter your room of a living girl living alone. Why? See, this is why I'm like confused. Shit is so nice in the other roots. He's he's still an asshole, but he's better in the other roots than when you're actually dating him. <laughs> Are you stupid? We're here to visit. We can't take her outside. She needs to rest. You're the idiot, Toma. You worry way too much. There was three days. That was three days ago, wasn't it? You seem fine now. It would be better to walk around a bit. What will you do? Sorry for showing up all of a sudden just to tell you this, but don't push yourself. Well, your body is fine already, right? If it wasn't for the thing with Ukio, we'd love to get some fresh air outside. But if these two are here with you, there shouldn't be any worry about. Maybe you should talk about Ukio. Are we actually gonna talk about him? <laughs> huh? Who's that? Sounds suspicious. Oh, so you never met Ukio before, Shin? No? What is he- uh, what? Does he visit Mio no Hijitsu a lot? I saw him often until recently. He got long hair with kind of an androgynous face. He really stands out. You'd notice if you saw him. Never seen him. I don't like this. And the only visit and he only visited on days when Jessica was working? We'd never been on the same ship. That's probably why I've never seen this guy before. That might be the case, and he was always asking for her to take his orders. Wow, that's scary. That's nice. Stalker. <laughs> he doesn't seem like a bad person though. I wonder what he was doing. What are you talking about? He's definitely targeting her. Don't get your overly trusting, see the good in everyone attitude. Yes, you know what? I agree with Shin. Why are you trusting this guy? We don't even fucking know who he is. And you doubt everyone too much. Oh, I heard a rumor that a regular customer stopped coming because of an issue with a love triangle. Was it the same guy? Oh, uh, that's right. There was a rumor like that. Right. Now when I think about it, Sao was all excited about it. But there's no love triangle. None whatsoever. Right, Jessica? I was actually thinking about the rumor that it was kind of credible. What? Why? Oh, I see. Did the guy, uh, did the guy look like he was seriously that he was in love with her? Yeah, he did. He was always looking over at her. Wait, really? He kind of gazed at her and then had this happy yet sad look on his face. I wonder what it was, this complicated expression. It was almost like, you, uh, like a look that you have when you're talking to someone about old memories. Although I don't know why. Still, my theory is that Ukiyo knows the other worlds. I don't know, that's just my theory still. Well, regardless, I seriously do think that he was in love with her. But that doesn't make it a love triangle. She said that too. It would seem so. Sounds like it was one-sided. It could be a bit of pervert. <laughs> but I haven't seen him lately. I even talked with the manager about it. Maybe he changed his strategy? You should be careful, like your boyfriend said. Yeah, can we please go home? Thanks, I don't want to be here. <laughs> Seems like he really treasures you. That's good. Why didn't you like him before? He seems like a nice guy. Shin, that's none of your business. It's personal. 
What? Doesn't that seem like a problem? If she thinks I'm being nosy, she can tell me herself. You hold back too much from all that worrying, Toma. I really do wonder why I disliked him before. Is it weird that to like someone you didn't like before? Okay, this is too obvious that we lost him, aren't we? So I'm gonna say as a question. That's normal, as long as you're not overly narrow-minded. Shin actually disliked me for the longest time. Because you're annoying. See? It's pr it's fine. It's pretty normal to start liking someone you disliked once before. I see. That's right. <laughs> That's reassuring. Anyway, about that movie we were told to talk about old memories we've had with you. Yes, please do! Ah, this is gonna be going so smoothly. All these hard times we went through alone together are like a dream now. It's all thanks to Kent. It really is nice to have someone around you who can lend you their strength. Um, I've been thinking, no matter what happens in the past, we'll never forget the, uh, how kind he has been to us. I wonder if Kent has any intention of sharing what happened with you two before. Hope is not bad. Oh, you have a visitor. Who could it be today? Wait, it's Kent? Why is he here? The conference is tomorrow. Is he done preparing? Uh, I guess you should open the door for now. Mind if I come in for a while? What happened? I was con contacted by Sawa. It seems things are progressing. How much have you remembered? What did you remember and what did you think about it? About it? Do you, think, do you still think it's okay to talk to me? We won't try to run off. Is it okay for me to be away from, from you for now? While I'm away, will you start thinking about that? Oh my god, will you start thinking that you don't want to see me anymore? Oh my god, Kent, calm down! It's not like I'm leaving you or anything. He thinks I'm like gonna start leaving him and shit like that, right? It seems a male friend of yours visited yesterday and Sawa said he really helped cheer you up. What kind of relationship do you two have? Is he able to write something that uh, to you that I can't? Wh what's going on? He seems really flustered. I already know that you're a woman who can form friendships with men as well. Friends are friends and nothing more than that. I understand that, yet I start thinking about I could lose you, and it's dreadful. You'll remember things that I don't want you to remember, and someone else besides me will ease your pain. I start to think about that even in this very moment. You just like me, and just like you did before. I can't stop thinking about such ideas, and I can't do anything. I refuse, I, I refuse to have uh, you come over, and yet in the end I couldn't help but come here and check on you. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry to dislike myself. Kent, calm down. It's okay. He He's like a robot. Remember, everybody, Kent is kind of like a robot. He doesn't know how to process emotions, so... But still, I couldn't just sit by and do nothing. Tell me, Jessica, what did you remember? Nothing bad. It's fine. No matter what I remembered. It, it'll be fine no matter what I remember, dude. Calm down. Is that really true? You can say with certainty that, regardless uh, of what you remember, nothing will change. Even if you remember that you disliked me before, you could still talk to me like this. When I think I could make you cry again, I become so afraid and confused. What? You made us cry? What happened? I'm sorry. I want to think that you'll be okay. Bye, nobody's here. Thank you for joining the stream. I will see you next time. At the very least, you think it'll be okay right now. And that, uh, and that thought gives me a little bit of courage. Hey, Jessica, would you mind telling Kent what I'm about to tell you? There's something I want to tell him, and as an outsider, there's something that might be helpful to hear from my perspective. Ready? What is this? The spirit wants to talk. Um, Kent? No matter what she remembers, I believe that she won't look at you the same way as before. You know that, right? She seems the kind of, uh, she's seen the kind side of you this whole time. It isn't the same as before, when all she knew was your crabby and unsociable self. This is just my opinion, but I think she truly does like you now. Oh, Ryan! <laughs> He's saving the day again! It's so sweet! That's just my view, though, but I've been at her side this entire time, so I don't- I doubt I'm mistaken. Jessica, I want you to write this down, too. That's the end of- uh, there's also no, another message. Mm, uh, <clears throat> then let me repeat. From my point of view, I believe that she truly does like you now, Kent. 
I don't know her true feelings, and I know even less about how she felt losing、uh, before her memories. But regardless of how she felt before, she's gained something over the last few weeks. I've also learned that she's not very honest with her own feelings either. It would have been easy for her to start disliking you. You were the same, right, Kent? Before losing her memory, she had a pretty cold attitude towards you, but you didn't start to dislike her for it, right? Or did you really think that there was a one thing that you didn't like? You start disliking each other for it. I see. That's right. I truly believe that her attitude was irritating, but I don't dislike her for it. He's learning. Thanks for for Orion. Ah, my son is doing good. I love you. <laughs> I was constantly annoyed, but I still liked her. I always wanted to hear her voice, even if it was just、uh, her co competent. I must be crazy. Maybe, but I think she feels the same way now. Just checking, but this is really a message from your spirit, right? You're not writing this yourself. Eh! <laughs> no, you don't have to nod in such a desperation. I believe you. I just checking to make sure. You wingman, <laughs> wingman Orion. That's exactly who he is. <laughs> I fully understand the spirit's good intentions. However, since his opinion isn't her own, I can't use this as a proper reference. Wait, what? There's more I wanted to say. What I was trying to say is, don't be afraid of being disliked. You need to talk to her about everything you're worried about. Exactly. People will have different opinions about different things. It's okay that people don't like you for a certain thing, but you can change. Kent. <laughs> as long as she can't remember, even if she does like you, she won't be able to say with absolute certainty. And you just remain in limbo, Kent. That's why you should tell her about what happened in the past, the thing that you don't want her to know. It'll be okay. I'll consider it. Sorry, but I don't have enough determination at the moment. But I'll consider it for the future. Is that enough for now? Okay, I got it. Just think about it. Thank you, Jessica. Sorry for butting in like that. It's okay. It's fine. But as long as your feelings aren't settled and Kent holds on to this misunderstanding, the situation won't be able to improve. I think you both need to gather some courage. Anyway, I want you to do your best at the conference tomorrow. We'll both come to watch. You'll come to watch. Would you even be able to understand the contents of my thesis? I'm there to support you, whether or not I know what's going on. Uh, that's no. We wouldn't really understand, but this is a real matter of support. We'll be there to cheer you on, even if we don't get what you're talking about, right, Jessica? In other words, I've got another assignment. I need to explain it in a way that you'll even understand. I'll return to the university now that I have a goal. I believe we'll be able to concentrate. What? What are you doing? <laughs> you can look forward to tomorrow. I may have I may have to improvise, but I'll stand on the stage and explain as if I'm speaking directly to you. And he's off. That's great, Jessica. Let's cheer him on. Oh my God, he didn't have to do that. I wonder if he's taking the final preparations now. And what time does it start? We never actually asked. Maybe we should call Iki and ask. We still need to come up with a time to meet. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> Hello. Sorry. Is this about the meeting?、Uh, meeting up? We've been kind of in a rush. I know it's about time to pick you up, but Ken is still not isn't done preparing. I'm helping him out、uh, for now. Wait. It's almost time for him to start. Huh? Sorry. Just a second. You forgot your note. Will you be all right? You'll be okay. Okay then. But that's not like you, Ken. Wow. They're really in a. Oh, don't tell them we have to walk there by ourselves. And then Uki was gonna show up and fucking kill us. Don't tell me that's what's gonna happen. Oh my goodness, no! <laughs> Sorry, we're so frantic. Anyway, I'll go pick you up when things settle down, bit. Just wait a little longer. I'll see you later. Iki, you had one job. Exactly, you had one job to pick us up. <laughs> He forgot his nose. That kind of sounds bad. Ken was in such a big rush to prepare in the last few days. I wonder if he remembers all of the material. Uh, this kind of hurts. He was probably all tense because of you. I'll go get his note. I wonder if. Oh God, no! I'll go get his notes. I wonder if Ken will be okay. Oh no! I have to go get his notes, don't I? And then fucking Yukio's gonna kill. Oh, I gotta save. Fuck this. I gotta save. No, hell no. Fuck that. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Um, I I feel. Like 
that getting his nose is the right thing to do. I just hope that Icky will be there and we won't die. Yeah, that sounds good. That might be for the best. <laughs> it is at least partially our partially our part that, that he couldn't fully prepare. Oh my god, guys, we're gonna fucking die. You have to go outside alone, but this is an emergency. Ah, yeah. Okay, just a reminder. No one's spoiling in the chat, please. If you're gonna spoil, put it in the spoiler room. But yeah, I'm scared. I'm really scared, actually. <laughs> Yeah, for now, let's just head over to Ken's house. I'm sure everything will be fine. We may not be able to get in, but it's the morning, so it's possible someone might be home. Oh my god, please tell me the mom's home or something. And no one's there, then we can go to the university. Yikes. Oh no, oh no. Wait, don't sprint like that. You've been indoors for most of the part since you collapsed. It's dangerous to start running suddenly. Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> it's gonna start! Oh my god! What? Some dick hit us with a car! What is happening? <laughs> Are you okay? It hurts. Ow! Did that car hit me? Huh? What is that? Why do I remember this feeling? What the hell is going on? <laughs> what? <laughs> this happened before. Kudo? No, Kudo, wake up! Kudo, Kudo, who is Kudo? <laughs> Don't die, Kudo. It seems you. Oh no! No! No, it's a dog! No! <laughs> the dog! Oh, shit. It seems you ran over her dog with your car. Yeah, but the dog just jumped out of nowhere and... I know, there's no fault on your part. But as you can see, the dog was gravely injured. Didn't you just at least... Don't you feel at least some responsibility? It still seems it's breathing. Could you help us bring it to the dog to the veterinarian? Uh, yes, of course. There you go, Jessica. Carry the dog into the car. No! Our dog got hit by a car! What the fuck, man? No, I don't like that! <laughs> that makes me sad! How did I forget this? Kuro isn't here. The dog I brought from home. We were always together, but not anymore. He died back then. He isn't here anymore. I see. Am I gonna end up the same way? Yo, bitch, we better not die. The fu- Icky, you were supposed to pick us up! If he didn't pick us up, we wouldn't have got hidden by a car. Oh my god. Uh, hello, Jessica. Sorry it took so long. Who are you? What? A nurse? An accident? She was an accident? No, I'm just a friend. I see. Okay. I'll understand. I'll tell him. Thank you very much. Bitch, and then he has a conference! How dare- Icky, this is your fault! <laughs> he had one job to pick us up. We get hit by a car, now he has to tell Kent, and Kent's gonna, like, miss his conference. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, my god! <laughs> what is it? The slides are just finished burning. Oh, I see, that's good. But that doesn't matter right now. Calm down and listen carefully. Jessica was involved in an accident. When I called her cell phone just now, someone at the hospital answered it. They brought her in and were asking if she had any family around. Apparently she's unconscious, but her injuries were light. But there are no abnormalities in her brainwaves, so she should be fine. Ken, do you know uh, the contact information of her family? Her family lives far away. I doubt she even knows the number to the contact herself. What? Is her family situation that complicated? There are various circumstances. I'm the only one who knows her situation. It would be appropriate for me to go as a substitute, but... It's already time. Her injuries were light, correct? That's what the nurse said. Ikyu, what would you do in a time like this? The presentation is important and it could have a heavy bearing on my life. 
But the woman I'm dating was involved in an accident and was brought to the hospital. Despite her injuries being light, would it really be okay for me to leave her like this? Ken, I can't answer that. This is something for you to decide. Do you feel... Uh, what do you feel is right? Or do what you feel is right? <laughs> or would it be possible to change the order of the presentation? I don't have much time until the conference begins, but uh, if I can... If I could do my presentation first, it shouldn't take much time to finish. Wait here, I'll go and no uh, negotiate with the committee. No, I'll back you up. I think it would be better con I think I'm better at convincing people. It would be best if the person in charge was a woman. For fuck's sakes! <laughs> you have my thanks, Yukiu. Alright, let's see what happens! <laughs> a hospital? I'm still alive. Looks like I didn't... Chankuro. Oh, right. I remember back then I told Kent, I hate you! Oh, shit. <laughs> Look how fucking tall he is! Oh my god! <laughs> I blame Icky. It's uh, blame Icky 2018. It's his fault. How long are you gonna act this way? The dead will never return. You should have realized that your pet will die long before you do. If you have time to grieve, you should reflect on this experience and make use of it for the future. The first problem was that you continued using the same leash until it frayed and snapped. The fact that the dog ran off the moment the leash snapped means you didn't discipline it properly. These two problems need to be corrected when you decide to raise the next dog. Also, there were issues with your reaction to that kind of emergency. I happened to be here on time, but if you were alone, you would likely have no wouldn't have noticed that it was still possible to save the dog's life. Although it didn't matter in this instance, since we didn't make it in time. I believe you should consider taking Taking these types of measures before you uh, before such an emergency occurs a second time. Oh, this is what he meant by making her cry. So since her dog died, he wasn't being considered. He was just being a dick, and then she cried. So <laughs> shut up, you tree. <laughs> Why would you say such a thing? What? How? How can you say that? I know there's a lot I need to consider about the situation. I know Kuro died because I was an experienced owner. You don't need to tell me. But is this really something I need to think about right now? Is it is it bad for me to miss Kuro and be sad that he died? Just stop it, please. I want to be alone. Accidents sometimes can't be avoided. Everyone makes mistakes. Can't you know? At this time, you should just shut up and leave. I think. But I believe learning from those mistakes would be the greatest form of respect for that dog's lost life. When you raise your next dog, you can... Just stop it already! Go away and leave me alone! I hate you, Ken! I hate you! Oh, shit. Yikes! Well, I see why she was angry at him! I see. Ken was worried about that all the time. I thought it was something he didn't care about at all. I'm a little happy. But if possible, I didn't want to remember this. Okay, you seem to be doing well. You'll probably need to stay at the hospital for a few days for observation. Have you contacted your family? Excuse me. <laughs> Kent! Your family? We'd like to discuss her hospital arrangements. No, we can't get in co uh, contact with her family. As for hospital arrangements, I could take care of her as a representative. Is that okay? Very well. The required items are written here. Please prepare them by tonight. I'll come back later. Until then... Kent came, but it's still early. What about the conference? You seem better than expected. I'm relieved. Oh, about the conference, I presented first and left immediately. Hey, okay, that's good. He was still able to present. I was so worried because I'm like, that's not fair, dude. What the fuck? But at least he got to present his conference and came to see us. I like him. Also, what about Orion? I know. I don't know where he is. There was supposed to be a get-together after the conference, but I don't really care about that. I just wanted to see that you were safe as soon as I got out. The thing that you'd be involved in an accident is exactly what that man said. You can't be left alone. Oh, that reminds me. I felt like someone pushed me. Could it have been Ukiyo? Oh! Maybe he was there, and he pushed us out of the way. So that we wouldn't die. <laughs> 
You can't be alone here tonight. I'm worried about you. If you don't have an, uh, if you don't mind the idea, could I stay overnight? Uh, overnight? I want to see how you're doing, at least for a day. I'm sorry for leaving. Um, uh, sorry for leaving me alone. He's gonna be here. That's good. If Ken's here, I'll be okay. I wonder when I started feeling this way. Doki doki. <laughs> Oh, Orion! Hey! Hey, Jessica, can you see me? Hmm, alright. <laughs> you finally looked at me! <laughs> I put in so much effort so you can see me temporarily. It seems like you can't see me anymore, and you can't even hear my voice. No! My son is leaving! He's leaving us! I don't like this! I was by your side the whole time. I saw Kent come rushing to see you, too. Such passion! But it seems like it's time for us to part ways. It's only been a short time, but it was really fun being with you. No, he's leaving! <laughs> no! <laughs> Playing around and fighting with so many people. It looks like I didn't end up ruining your life by making you lose your memories. That's a relief. In fact, I might even have been your very cu own Cupid. Or am I being egotistical? <laughs> You know, Kent's a little insensitive, but he's also a really nice guy. It seems like you remember the sad memory that he was worried about, though. It's okay. The two of you could get uh, through anything, no matter how sad the memory was. That's why I'll be going now. Get along with Kent. No! <laughs> Ryan! It's okay to fight once in a while, but when you do, just remember that being honest about your feelings will help, make you, will help you make up. And if you're happy, I'll be able to not worry and get back to doing my work. He's worried! <laughs> Once we separated, you'll probably forget me. But I'll never forget you. Even after I return to my world, I'll be praying for your happiness. I want to hug him! Bye-bye, Jessica. Take care! Bye-bye, Orion. It was really fun being with you, too. I see. So you remember the time. Yes. I was thinking about that while you were sleeping as well. Anyway, what did you think when you remembered? Is it okay for me to be here? Do you still wish to talk to me? It's all in the past. If you apologize, that's the end of it. Oh! It's interesting! I mean, he, I think he should apologize for being an asshole. That's my opinion, but... It is in the past and he's improving himself as a character, but I still think he should apologize, so I'm gonna say that. <laughs> is it really okay? Really? Yes? Seems when I argue through reason, I end up hurting people. Back then, I doubt I was thinking about your feelings at all. I had intended to cheer you up. I told you to change the way you felt. I didn't think that you would- I didn't think that would make you cry. I had no intentions of hurting you. I was shocked and regretted saying that- the things I said. I'm still regretting it now. I'm sorry about back then. Thank you very much! This is how you change as a person to become a better person. If you accept your mistakes and apologize for it. Kent is best boy, I approve, okay? <laughs> is this really okay? You won't tell me to leave? You don't want to revoke our current dating status? Jessica, I made you cry, but you'll still forgive me? Someone, someone close to me said this, I think. They said it's okay. They said I wouldn't see you the same way I did before. And that's alright. Even knowing the past, I can't see him the same way as before. That's because I know now that Kent is truly a kind person. It's okay. Jessica, I'll do my best not to make you cry again. If there's anything I do that you don't like, tell me. I will treasure you. Yes! I like this! <laughs> yes. Yeah, Orion was the one who said that. That makes me sad. Yay! Hello, we came to visit. Sawa Mine! The loud people are here again. <laughs> wait, Kent, it's been a while. No, wait, Kent. I didn't think you would be here. Have you been staying in her hospital room? That's a surprise. We were really shocked, though. You were in a traffic accident, right? You look a lot better than expected. When did you get out of the hospital? Um... Tomorrow. Why do you need to answer for her, Kent? I'm in her place of her family. Her parents live too far away to visit. What? Her family? 
Wow, it's like you two are already married. Whoa, okay, calm down. <laughs> Mina, you're going over and in over your head. <laughs> married? As a person closest to her besides her family, I simply came to watch over her. Her family isn't even here, but you're attending to her, Kent. Does that mean you're even closer than her family? Um, you're not staying here overnight, are you? <laughs> It's about time for you two to leave. What? So was I right? If you don't leave, I will. Wait a minute, you can tell us more details about it. Okay, okay, we're very sorry. We asked a little too much. Seeing how Ken seems ma so mad now, we should stop teasing him. What? But I wanted to hear more. Anyway, back to the main issue. I'm glad you seem to be doing pretty well. The manager and the others were worried too, you know? Uh, that's right. He said to get plenty of rest. Yay, Waka Senpai! I miss him too. <laughs> what about that man, Ukyo? Huh? Ukyo? We haven't seen him around. Why do you ask? Wait a second, was that cheating rumor really true? Sawa, didn't I tell you before that that man is suspected of stalking her? Yeah, I heard that, but... Just like I said the other day, he hasn't come by the cafe in a while. Maybe you're just overthinking it? I don't know about that. I actually heard some pretty scary news. Wait, what? What happened to him? I heard that the day before yesterday, an unidentified man was found dead after falling from a roof of an apartment complex in the neighborhood. Did he kill himself? What happened? What the fuck? And that man's features were pretty similar to Ukiyo's. Maybe that was a coincidence? Maybe, but the roof cap was pretty in perfect position to see into this room. No! No! Big no! So he was watching us through the hospital. This window right here. He's watching through us. He saw us with Kent, then he jumped off the fucking roof? What the fuck is this? Jesus Christ! This got really dark, right? Like, all of a sudden. <laughs> what the fuck? They said the railing the man was leaning on collapsed due to the rust. And it happened in the middle of the night. If you think about it, what he was doing in that place at the time at night, it's actually pretty creepy. Yo, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Just when I think U Ukyo couldn't get any creepier, what the hell? I like how they're acting nonchalant about it. Yeah, the guy just who was stalking Jessica just like killed himself while he was watching us through the hospital window. That's nice. Um, <laughs> You're saying he could have been looking into this room and fell by accident. Isn't that really scary? I doubt that's anything more than a fantasy. What? Really? If, a man really if that man really was Ukyo, we'd be safe now. But based on that conclusion so far, is too weak. That's not what I mean! It's just scary because he could have died with a grudge! Again, meaningless fantasies. Jessica, as long as we don't, uh, we don't know for certain that man was Ukyo, I can't leave you alone. Yeah, he has a point. We don't know if it's Ukyo, but like still, that's so weird. Ukyo can't catch a break, even in a story. Ukyo. Was he the person who pushed me during the accident? I wonder if the person who died really was him. That reminds me. Why are you alone at this uh, why were you alone at the time of the accident? Ukyo said that he was supposed to pick you up. Or Ikiyu, sorry. Um Oh, right, I heard that she ran off to get something you forgot, Kent. Really? You didn't know? That's what Iki was guessing anyway. That was very important conference, wasn't it, Kent? But in the end, you quickly finished your presentation to come to the hospital, right? It's gotta be love. But because you were able to finish, your application to study abroad was accepted. Is it really okay for you to be separated? That hasn't been decided yet. The official results will be disclosed on the 31st. Although it's already pretty much decided. Studying abroad? That's right, Kent was going to study abroad when he finished the conference. Soon we won't be able to see each other. I'm home. It's really quiet. I wonder why I feel like I was always talking to someone here. Ah, <laughs> Ryan! <laughs> Who was it? It wasn't Kent. Until recently, we were always just fighting after all. 
There weren't many times when he came in here. Have I forgotten something again? It's a little lonely. No! Oh no! I think I'm at the end here, so I'll just finish the good ending here, and then the next time I stream I'll do all the other endings. Oh, someone's here. Could it be Sawa or maybe Kent? Yes, I'll be right there! Uh, Kent, hello. I just received a formal decision about my studying abroad. Oh. Would you like to go for a little walk? What's happening? Why? What? <laughs> I've been thinking for a while about what to say to you. However, I can't come up with an appropriate words. I feel it's a presumptuous to assume that you miss me. However, I also can't imagine that you'd be happy about this either. Do you mind if I interpreted the complicated look on your face in my own way? Jessica, to fully confess the truth, I'm unable to become happy about this decision. I wouldn't be able to see you. The three days before the conference were painful enough. I don't know if I'd be able to endure an entire year. I don't know if I'd, you'd welcome me back with the same smiling face I've grown accustomed to when I return, either. I might speak and behave like I'm tough, but I'm actually afraid to go through with this. How pathetic of me. You're not pathetic! It's okay! You're human. It's okay, Kent. Is it really okay for me to dream of a future with you? Jessica, it's one year. Can I ask you to wait for me? Just for one year? Do you mind if I hope the, for you to welcome me back when I return? Yes, I'll be waiting. Please come back soon. Thank you. Just wait. No! He's leaving! <laughs> Damn, he's so tall! <laughs> Kent, you need to go. I know, you don't have to say that. I'm sorry. Could you tell me that you'll be lonely? That you want to see me again? I don't care if it's a lie. If you s just say that, I'll believe you. And you'll be able to let go of these hands. I'll be lonely. I want to see you again, and that's not a lie. I'll be waiting for you to return. Kent? They're gonna finish the boarding soon. I know. I'll go. I'll send you a message. I might not know what to write, and it might end up being brief, just like before, but... I'd be happy even with just a good morning and a good night. I'll be waiting. If possible, I'd be happy if you replied to me too. Um, that's... It seems that you were holding back before because you thought you appeared soft. But I'm correct to assume that you don't dislike me as much now, right? Of course. I'm sorry about before. I'll reply to you from now on. Ah, yes, I have high hopes for that. I feel like I dreamed for a long time about this day that I could see you smile. I want to believe that I won't wake up from that dream, even if I let go of these hands. I'll be off. Goodbye. No! <laughs> Can't! <laughs> Apparently, we don't even get a kiss or anything. Well, at least it's a hug, so it's fine with me. What is that? Ah, oh, it's a message from Kent. It's morning, so it probably says good morning. I want to see you. Ah, uh, did I get the normal ending? <laughs> God damn it! I think I got the normal ending, you guys. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, I got the normal ending, which is good. I, I figured I would get a bad ending because sometimes I went, the way I was answering, I was kind of mean to Ken, but that's okay. I, I did say I will get the all the other endings regardless. It doesn't matter. Um, So, since this is... I will say for, for a normal ending, that's not bad. It's not bad as a normal ending. He still got to do his uh, schooling his academic career and he has a good relationship with mc so it's not that terrible it just it just sucks that they couldn't like you know figure out a solution like we go with him or something like that i don't know i i just think it's not a bad ending it's pretty good please oh god <laughs> with a stupidly huge heart oh I thought he was gonna see us as a- He found his tongue wandering inside her mouth, exploring slowly as she- <laughs> I'm sorry, let me do that again. He found his tongue wandering in her mouth.